Hello and welcome to the Deutz Corporation headquarters here in Norcross, Georgia. I am Leo Stepper, part of the engineering team here at Deutz Corporation, and today we are excited to introduce the next generation Deutz Power Packs designed around our new modular concept. Our main goal during the development process was to reach maximum installation simplicity. We successfully reduced the time necessary to install our power packs into a customer machine from over three hours down to only 15 minutes. Modern engines in highly regulated markets like North America or Europe, especially the ones in the higher horsepower range, are very complex systems that require a lot of knowledge and expertise to be installed in a machine correctly. By combining various components into single modules that remain a high degree of installation flexibility, we developed a product that can be tailored to the requirements of a specific machine, yet reducing the amount of labor for the assembly to a minimum. This was made possible by a smart combination of mounting brackets and modular wiring harnesses. Another benefit is that the pre-assembly of the most components reduces the overall installation complexity, hence it lowers the risk of installing components incorrectly. All components have been installed according to our Deutz installation guidelines, leaving only a handful of items that need to be installed in order to get the engine running. But now enough of the general talk, let's take a closer look at this prototype solution behind me and I'll show you what I mean. We are looking at a TCD 7.8 power pack that includes all necessary modules in order to make it a turnkey solution. In this video, we will show you how easy it is to install the modular power pack within just a few steps. The actual pedestal looks like not a lot changed from the original design. What actually changed dramatically is the complete wiring which can now be completely pre-installed from the factory. It combines a brand new engine harness and also a brand new customer harness, meaning the only thing that in the end the customer would need to install is the dev tank and the control panel. All of the components that belong to the exhaust after treatment are pre-assembled on this plate over here. All wiring and sensors and control units are all mounted together in this bracket and the wiring harness funnels back into this interface connector, which can then be connected to the engine with just a simple extension, just like the dev tank. And that's how easy it is to install the EAT system. It doesn't necessarily have to be right over the pedestal module like we installed it over here with these uprights. It can move wherever you want because we have this extension harness over here in various lengths. Next up, the highlight of the new modular concept, the brand new diesel exhaust fluid tank, or short DEF tank. It includes all necessary components for the DEF system, including the DEF dosing module, the DEF level sensor, the DEF heating valve, but also our brand new relay box. The new relay box is way smaller and includes solid state relays that increase efficiency and reliability. This module is required on all engines above 75 horsepower and it's the same exact design between all engines, 3.6, 41, 61, all the way through 78. Wiring the new DEF tank design up to the engine couldn't be any more simpler. You now only have to connect two interfaces with each other, one on the DEF tank and one on the engine. For this, we use an extension harness. We have these available in different lengths, just depending on where you put your DEF tank. So first step, connecting the connector to the engine like that. And the second step is just simply connecting it to the DEF tank. After we connected the DEF tank to the engine with the extension harness, there are only two further steps to complete the DEF tank installation. First, connect the DEF heating lines from the engine coolant system to the tank. These two lines are connected to the engine's coolant system, one being the feed line and one the return line. The feed line connects right in here, right before the DEF heating valve. The return line connects on the top of the DEF tank. So this is the heated DEF injector line that connects the DEF tank with the DEF injector on the engine. This line is heated, so you can see over here there's a counter plug on it. The 90 degree side goes to the DEF metering unit on the DEF tank, just clicks right in. And this connector over here just goes into that empty connector over here and it connects right in like this. This is the DEF injector line that goes on the injector on the EAT system with just a simple push fitting. So after we connected the DEF injector line to the DEF tank, the only thing that's left to do is to connect it to the DEF injector on the EAT module and it just clicks right in and that's it. The only things that are missing right now is fuel and battery. The fuel on this engine connects 
right on the fuel filter over here for the feed line. The return line goes right over here. The battery connections are on the opposite side of the engine. We label the negative battery connection with a ground label. The positive battery cable just simply connects to a stud on the starter relay. The introduction of this new modular concept will start this year with our new 9 to 18 liter power packs along with the 3.6 series and this TCD 7.8. Later this year, most of our other power packs, including the 2.2, 2.9 series and the 4.1 and 6.1 engines will be updated to be available as modular next gen power packs as well. Thank you all for tuning in to our quick introduction of our next generation Deutz power packs and we can't wait to get these out to you and hear your feedback. Thank you very much.